Good evening, everybody, and welcome to your executive summary for stock setups for Friday, the 23rd, oh, 22nd of April, I should say. Um, okay, so we talked about the S&P 500 being in a potential head and shoulder pattern over the last few days. And as you can see, we've come right up to that 2120 resistance, and we're now starting to pull back. So we're just dropping down uh, into this area. So we could consolidate and oscillate between that 2080 and the 2100 as we respect the open range that was set last week. Uh, obviously, we're waiting for the 1st of May to see where that big breakdown would occur. So, um, But either way, our hypothesis that the head and shoulder pattern could be what was coming seems likely or more likely at this point. Um, the sideways consolidation that could occur over the next week and a half um, benefits both longs and shorts, um, meaning that the longs can start to reach their targets and we can start rolling over into new short positions. So um, having a look at some of those longs, um, well, let's, let's go through firstly a, a few different things. Um, the great thing about the way we trade is that we look for individual stock movement, not trading the stock market. So um, a good strategy should make money going long in a short market and going short in a long market because we're looking for that individual performance of the position. Now, a great example of that is Abercrombie & Fitch. Now, that stopped out, but that still looks good. If this was to break down below the low here of uh, 2852, so looking at, say, 2837, 2833, um, that could be, a, 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 again, a new good long uh, for a put position or a stock trade. Uh, Abercrombie & Fitch is looking solid. Um, AAPL, Apple, uh, again, we talked about the 102 uh, April 29th puts. Uh, they actually report uh, on Tuesday now. They changed their date. Uh, so Tuesday they report, uh, and that could be a nice little drop down to uh, possibly $98, $96 and, uh, you know, three, 400% plus potential return. Obviously high risk, though, because they could expire worthless if it doesn't go the right way. What else have we got? ZUMZ, um, holding options in this, put options in this as per the newsletter, uh, I, you know, hasn't had any kind of a rally. So um, this is uh, something that is moving in its own rhythm. Um, so really, really liking the way that's forming up. Uh, ROST as well. Uh, this is also moving down in an up market. So the salmon swimming upstream. You can see it's broken that upward channel and uh, a very bearish close in today's market also with that uh, money flow still consolid uh, excuse me, diverging to the downside. Uh, in terms of longs, I mean, B Core, one of the new alerts from uh, two nights ago. Uh, that's going up. That looks beautiful. ARLZ. Uh, this one, also having great moving up. We, uh, we loaded up on uh, call options uh, just the other day. Uh, also one of the alerts we sent out Tuesday night. Uh, this is doing great. Uh, THC, still consolidating, but uh, this one looks like it's, uh, it's well, this is either going to break out and do, a, do that flag move, or it'll fail. But we'll know that probably pretty quickly as well. Uh, and of course, uh, we can't go past CEQP. <laughs> wow. Uh, anyone, anyone buy this? Uh, uh, I got a few uh, emails and notes from students today and clients today. Uh, made 400% overnight on the options on this one. Well done. Uh, the stock itself gapped up 42% today. So beautiful move. And congratulations to anyone who was in on that. Uh, but that one obviously has been a huge performer right into its moving average. Um, and that was uh, something we picked back uh, way back in March. Um, so CEQP, the big star of today. Uh, VVUS, another one that we've obviously been um, uh, talking about quite a lot. We mentioned that way back, uh, uh, back, back here when it was breaking out for $1.30. Now at $1.80, this looks like the, uh, the flag formation has consolidated and should now continue. Very bullish close today. And uh, once we break this overhead resistance, should easily reach the next target at $2.11, hopefully. Um, we've got uh, KPTI, another great performer today in a down market. Uh, KPTI, which has been something we've been watching uh, since about six bucks, now at 9.92, had a great move as well, 9.86% today. So Yahoo or Yippie Ki Yay, as one of our students emailed in today. Uh, Yahoo indeed. Uh, in terms of new potential positions, we've got three possible shorts, Smuckers. Now, Smuckers is uh, part of the packaged and processed goods uh, industry, which has been had the one of the highest levels of industry selling, or uh, insider selling. Uh, you can see a big drop today of over 3.08% um, on 3 million shares. 
uh, or 1.45 billion shares, sorry, over the 519,000 shares it traded yesterday. Um, you can see this has got a lot of potential. If we measure the rising wedge and duplicate that length over to the right-hand side, that gives us a target of about 114. Uh, looking at the options, I would be looking at the uh, the one uh, excuse me the July 125 puts, which are 480, or the July 120 puts, which are currently 280. So um, uh, in terms of an entry, I'd be looking for a, a, a break below today's low or a retest of resistance up around that 127 mark. So say around 169, um, excuse me, uh, 126. Uh, 87. Uh, so there's Smuckers, and I'd be looking at a target down here of around 114. Uh, in fact, if we look at where that gap resistance was, that would be where I'd be setting it, which is at 114.78. Okay, next we have uh, Netflix. Now, this is an optionable trade or a stock trade, as all of these are. Uh, Netflix uh, has uh, had that nice gap down. You can see again, looking at our patterns and probabilities, there's the measurement of that rising wedge. There was the extension, it went down to that perfectly, consolidated, and now look, it looks like it's going to break further. So if it breaks down below $94.13, I'd be looking at a target of $80. So you could be looking at the $90, you know, June, July puts would be the way I'd play that in an option, uh, or of course the stock trade. And uh, I'd be looking at a stop loss above the high of yesterday's candle at $101.37. Um, okay. CRUS is the third short. Now, this has had really big insider selling, um, uh, massive insider selling. Uh, again, we can see that this is a head and shoulders pattern moving up inside this channel, broke through, pulled back, much like we're talking about on the S&P 500 currently. And uh, if we look at the extension on that, that gives us a breakdown to where these moving averages converge around $32. So there's basically about a $2.20 move uh, at least there. But we've got divergent money flow. It's broken negatively. And the last time we had money flow at this level, the stock was down at 27 bucks. So this could have a more significant move than just the $2.20 move that we've indicated there. Um, so uh, I'd be looking at a break of 33.87 as an entry criteria or a retest of just underneath the $35 level if we get a bit of a rally pop tomorrow. Um, and I'd be looking at the... Uh, the June $34 puts, which are $2.35. Now, these guys report on April 26th. So actually, no, it wouldn't be a great stock trade because we wouldn't really want to hold stock into earnings. But as an option trade, uh, the June $34 puts at $2.35 uh, is what interests me. Uh, on the long side, the first, uh, the first we have two. We've got LCI, which um, uh, makes an interesting candidate for a fallen angels possible trade, which is one of my is my favorite strategy. Uh, we've got insider buying. Um, we had insider selling before, but it was at much higher prices. So uh, the stock's already depreciated quite a fair bit from uh, where that selling went on. Um, we've got a low P to E ratio. Uh, there's institutional um, action going on. So uh, I'd be looking at this as a long. That could, uh, that could rally up to these types of levels here around $26 would be the target. And I'd be looking at the $22.50 June calls, which are currently $1.11. And uh, last but not least, true. Now, this is a bit more speculative. And uh, uh, so those of you who like a bit of, uh, you know, uh, the faster heartbeats and, um, and the, the quick in and out possible trades, uh, this could be a flag. I'd be looking at a, um, an entry criteria of around this consolidation at 670, and uh, I think that could have a, uh, a quick possible move up to uh, where we see the resistance here at 713. So we could be looking at basically a 45 cent move, possibly more. Um, the, uh, the volume has been increasing, and, uh, and, it, and, it's, and it's just broken through all these moving averages. So there's a, another possible uh, uh, long amongst the uh, other shorts. So with that, um, if you are, again, uh, this will be the last reminder of the, we've been sending out a couple of free reports to those of you who've been past subscribers um, and all looking into our services. So if you are not a member of these, don't miss out on getting these videos anymore. Uh, do sign up for a $9 trial. It's one of the best trades you'll ever make and uh, receive these videos on a daily basis. We've got a lot of action next week and we hope to see you all there. Take care and have a wonderful night.